More than 100 Palestinians killed and hundreds injured, according to the Hamas-run Gaza Health Ministry, as a delivery of humanitarian aid turned into chaos near Gaza City on Thursday. How it happened depends on who you ask. Israel and the health ministry are giving different accounts. Israel says people died when they were trampled and run over as hundreds rushed delivery trucks. But Gaza health authorities and witnesses interviewed by CBS News accuse Israeli troops of firing on Palestinians as they waited for aid delivery. An Israeli military spokesperson said that's not true. The idea of saying a stampede happened first, and when troops felt threatened by the crowd, some forces opened fire. The idea of spokesman says the bulk of the deaths occurred prior to any shots fired. CBS News asked about the threat Israeli troops say they encountered. An IDF spokesperson said anybody approaching forces after being warned not to is believed to pose a threat. Witnesses who spoke with CBS News say there was a desperate rush for food, but say Israeli forces opened fire without provocation. Aerial footage released by the IDF shows hundreds of people rushing toward a convoy of trucks. The Post independently analyzed the video and determined it to be an area in southwest Gaza City, but could not verify the date. A spokesperson for Gaza's civil defense force refutes Israel's narrative. He told the Post people were waiting from last night expecting flower trucks to arrive. While they were waiting, the tanks started firing shells and bullets. An IDF spokesman told the Post the stampede has nothing to do with the IDF, but the IDF is being blamed for it, which is outrageous and ridiculous. The Israeli military argues tanks fired warning shots to disperse the crowd after the situation had gotten out of hand. A Pentagon spokesperson said the U.S. is pushing for an investigation. And we're very saddened at the loss of innocent lives here. I mean, these are human beings that are trying to feed themselves. Uh, and so um, I, I think we're all kind of looking at that and saying, you know, what happened here? Um, and so, again, the, the White House has reached out and asked Israel to investigate this. Hamas said the incident could jeopardize talks aimed at a ceasefire deal that would see the release of Israeli hostages and likely include a significant increase in the flow of aid to Gaza. When a reporter asked if the incident would complicate talks in Qatar, President Biden said he believes it will. International pressure is already mounting on Israel to reduce the civilian death toll. Officials in Hamas-run Gaza say the number of Palestinians killed has surpassed 30,000. Meanwhile, aid organizations have issued a dire warning about famine among Gazans. Hunger, a problem well before the war, has magnified. Part of ongoing negotiations between Israel and Hamas is the increase of humanitarian aid trucks to devastated areas. But without an agreement, desperation grows. The New York Times reported the World Food Program suspended its deliveries to Gaza, citing looters and crowds attacking trucks, similar to claims from Israel at the center of the latest tragedy in Gaza.